Shaw here with Epicurean Delights and my mom and I are in the kitchen today and we are whipping up some recipes for our cookbook that we're working on and um, this is one of them. So we are going to be making an icebox, icebox? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> icebox ice cake. Box? <laughs> um, which always reminds me of, you know, the olden days. Yeah. Not necessarily my olden days. Or but mine. Or Probably hers. when my mom was a little girl. Yes. So like back in the 30s or the 40s. So icebox, we should probably research that. Well, maybe it was the 30s or 40s? Yeah. Okay. Maybe, so, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, I might have just made that up too. You, you probably yeah. did. So this is our version of an icebox uh, cake circa 2010 or 2019. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in my head. Right? Woo! <laughs> All right, so um, icebox cakes. For anybody who hasn't made an icebox cake before, um, basically it's no bake. So we're going to be using. It's no bake, no cake. It's no bake, no cake. So we're going to be using um, whipping cream and we're going to be using fresh strawberries. So we have a bunch of uh, fresh strawberries here cut up. And then we are going to layer this. So it's going to be layers of whipped cream um, along with our. Uh, Pizzelli's, which is an Italian waffle cookie, so we're going to use this as a layer and we're going to actually split this in half because we're kind of testing out two different methods in one today. Um, the other side we're going to use these biscuit cookies that have a layer, a really thin layer of strawberry cream in the middle and they smell so good. Mm -hmm. They might be good. Yeah, they might just be a little <laughs> good. And then we're going to top the whole thing off with a little crunchy topping. So what I did was I took some of the strawberry wafer cookies and these ones are so good. They're made with real strawberries and no preservatives and fruit, no high fructose, this and that. Fruit, and, yeah. um, and then some of the little shortbread uh, biscuits and we just cut those up and then added some white chocolate uh, crispy pearls to that just to make it look pretty. Which are beyond delicious. My mom really likes them. So we're going to use that as our topping. And um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to be using just a square pan and I've uh, greased it a little bit with some butter um, only because I don't want my, my wax paper to shift around when I'm trying to do my layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down in here. And I'm gonna do one piece one way and then I'm going to do another piece the other way um, and I'm going to hope that I can get it out. So. I don't want to be able to like lift it out a little bit easier. I've got this all lined and what we're going to do is um, I've got my mixer over here with a metal bowl and I have some cream. This is two and a half cups of cream and I wanted to talk a little bit about stabilizing your whipped cream. There's a product called Whip It uh, which I use a lot. I like it because you can pipe with it and you use a packet of this for um, a cup of cream so I actually have two here that I'm going to use, but then I also have some vanilla sugar that I'm going to add to it by the same company. And the nice thing about this product is that it allows you to pipe with it. So if you, you know, want to pipe with whipped cream, it will hold its shape. So it's a pretty cool find, um, or you can use gelatin. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add my cream in here. I'm going to <laughs> and we'll see I may add more um, I may need to do another batch of this but I'm gonna start out with this much and see what happens so I'm just gonna add this packet in I'm gonna whip this up until it's nice and fluffy 
And then uh, we're gonna come back. I'm not gonna have you watch me whip up whipping cream because it's like watching paint dry. So I I'll whip this up. Than that. <laughs> and we'll be back. <laughs> okay, we're back. So we've got our whipped cream all whipped up. It's nice and stiff. Stiff, stiff. Sort of like and, a blizzard. Yeah. So I'm gonna put just a tiny bit down. Um, I actually want, I want to start out with a layer on the bottom so it's kind of like faux cake, but I want it to stick. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. At least I think I do. I think you might. Well, maybe not. And you can put, <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> um, you can also put, you know, sugar in there if you want it super sweet. Um, she's loopy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down a layer of my Pizzelli. And I think I'm gonna, I might want some in the corners here. Oh yeah. You know? Do a little piece right there. Mm -hmm. And then my other side, I'm gonna do these little biscuits. This is gonna be interesting. Yes. Don't you think? I do. This one doesn't quite fit all the way. There, there you go, force it. it. Boom, done. And then <laughs> I'll just put more Pizzelli here. Okay, good. And then I am going to do a layer of whip. <laughs> Boom. Spread that over. I think we do need to research ice bucks. Okay, the era. Yeah, because it's like, is it because they didn't want to bake a cake? Maybe it was just the, I don't know, isn't that like Maybe. the Depression era? Well, the one I made up is. <laughs> the one what? I made up is a time oh. frame. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, that so, works for me. I don't know. Right? All right, so then I'm gonna do a layer of strawberries. Yeah, a layer of strawberries. So, I think this is about three cups of strawberries. I don't know if yeah, there's, all, yeah, three cups total in the bowl. <laughs> Do you want me to help you? <laughs> no, no, I just want you to sit there and look pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. And just not say what I'm thinking. Oh gosh, oh. I don't think anybody's ready to hear what she's thinking. <laughs> I have had to live through what she's thinking. <laughs> I don't want to expose anybody else to that. Oh, but they would have so much oh, fun. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna make another little decision here and I'm going to, so this is gonna be my topping, but I feel like this will give some good like texture to this and yes. kind of fill in some of those those little spot divots yep so that's what I'm gonna do and I think we're probably only gonna need to go maybe one more high mm-hmm and so it's gonna be like two layers so I'm just gonna keep layering and then um, I'll we'll come back and show you kind of the finishing putting the finishing touches on yes so we will be back Right, Mom? Right. And she'll have some new, you know, yeah. depression era factoids for you. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, we're back and we have done our layers and I'm gonna put my final coat of whipped cream and I'm actually just gonna do little rosettes all over here and then it's gonna be a little bed for my coating to sit on top of to a delicious crunchy topping. Yep. So this is the nice thing about using Whippet. You can see I'm actually getting some definition in my whipped cream, which normal whip, normally if you whip up whipped cream, you're not going to get this. I'm going to have to reload my bag. I'm in a hurry, so I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be neat and tidy about this because I want to get this into the fridge as soon as possible. And the longer my whipped cream sets out, the warmer it will get. Right? Yep. Right, mom. So mom um, figured out the history of the icebox cake. Yes. So she's gonna. And it is the 20s and 30s. She was right. I was right, which. I kind of do that, but whatever. <laughs> but it's a take on, is it a trifle? A trifle so and a- A trifle and something about a Charles, a Charles something? Charleston or Char something? Charlotte? Oh, Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte something. Um, let me just go ahead and get my phone. Oh, okay. Let, let's just go ahead and get my Google results here. Why, well, yes. It's, Look at that, I pipe faster than she can Google. Just kidding. She's so silly. Okay. Well, she's okay, it's uh, derived from similar desserts such as the Charlotte and the Trifle. It was first introduced to the US during World War I. Its popularity rose in the 20s and 30s, like I said, as it used many commercial shortcuts and pre-made ingredients. So this is the lazy person's cake of the 20s and 30s. Oh. They had the roaring 20s, they were too busy drinking. <laughs> Boot had it like lis lisky whiskey. Ha! You been drinking, Mom? Just <laughs> um, So they had to have s something simple, mm. you know, because the women were tired of the men being the ones drunk, so they decided they would be. Okay, so on that <laughs> note, we're gonna go ahead and um, finish this up. So I'm just adding my texture. I've got some of the... Uh, There'll be more about this later. Yeah, we can all hardly wait for that. Uh -huh. uh, so I just have some of my wafer cookies uh, chopped up and some shortbread and then these little uh, white chocolate crispy balls. That are crispy, so delicious. Anyway. Yeah, crispy yeah. pearls and I think I think it adds a lot of it looks pretty. Yeah, because you Very, can see the pink. It's almost like birthday cake-ish. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna. Really, um, really good. I would put more on that. Okay, because so we're gonna. Okay, well we can. <laughs> we, I'm gonna let her butts over it. Um, okay, thank you. And we are gonna call this one a wrap because it does have to go into the refrigerator for at least 12 hours. So once it has sat, we will pull it out and um, show you what it looks like. So and taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's that's that. Okay. Okay. Hi guys, we are back and we have unveiled our icebox cake. I will say that I did pop this in the freezer overnight because I wanted it to firm up really good before I popped it out of the pan. I didn't want it to ruin any of the the frosting. So it's been sitting at room temperature for. I don't know, probably an hour. Hour, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so we just garnished it with some cute little strawberries, and we are going to... Cute little baby strawberries. Cute little fresh baby strawberries. Yeah. And so we've got the... This is the, um, the biscuit cookie side, and then this is the wafer side. So we're actually just going to take a little slice out of both sides so that you can see it. Set my little garnishes off to the side here. And we are going to cut into this. It's still frozen in the middle, so you could probably let it sit out for a little bit longer, but. Guess the reason it's 
super big knife. <laughs> No, oh. we'll just, we're gonna, we'll just <laughs> both taste it on the plate. Yeah, no. So, the same plate? Yeah, we're family. Okay, that's so you can sell that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, there you go. So, let's try, let's move this one over, let's try this okay. one first. Okay. So, it looks like this is oh, the, it's still a little frozen, yeah? No, well, yeah. So yeah, you definitely want to let this sit out at room temperature for quite a while. Well, what did they say for like Dairy Queen ice cream cakes? I have no idea. Okay. We but so know. this is the edges are soft, so let's try it. Good. I like the crunch of the, the, the Yeah, those are really, really good. But what's interesting to me, because I've never had an ice box cake before. Yeah. And so I'm thinking, is it gonna be super crunchy? What is it gonna be? Well, but the wafer cookies are soft. So it's almost, that part is almost cake-like to me. Yeah, and I think also because we used a biscuit, most yeah. traditionally, well, I don't even know if it's traditionally, but most of the ones you'll see online use graham crackers, which oh, I yeah. felt like would get so soggy and yeah. gross. So I like the biscuit. Mm -hmm. You know, it definitely uh, mm. is firm. I like the crunch of those. Um, you're gonna have to link off where to buy those. The pearls? Yeah. So I like They're it. So delicious, yeah. Oh, let's try this one out. Okay. So this is with the Pizzelli. So we're gonna try that. And I have a feeling this Okay, wait a good. minute. This was the biscuit cookie? Yeah. Oh. And this is the wafer Pizzelli. Got it. That's a different texture. Mm-hmm. We have a little visitor. A little happy feet in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, taste I, this with the strawberry. I think I like the biscuit better. Yeah. It, it, because of that strawberry filling, it just makes it even more strawberry. Mm-hmm. That's even a word. It is. And then the the topping was really good. Mm -hmm. Very be quiet. The topping is the best. Okay, I'm gonna try this again, okay. just because I can. I'll try this. This one is the the Pizzelli definitely melds into. Oh, I feel like the Pizzelli. We probably could have double layered the Pizzellis. Yeah. Because it's more. This is more. I like it though, it's kind of ice creamy. Well, yeah, it's definitely with the bazelli. Hmm. So, so that's good. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I think that I like the texture, I like the flavors, I like the. And it's refreshing. Mm hmm. Definitely different. There's no baking involved. Mm hmm. Super easy. Which is really, really nice. It's super easy, super mm -hmm. simple. So yeah, all right. So we're just gonna finish these Yeah, we're up. just gonna finish eating these and we yeah. hope that you will make this and um, give us some feedback on what you what you added or um, subtracted or, you know, what right. you thought. So until next time, make it sweet or savory, but always delicious. Yes, and keep it real. <laughs> <laughs>